Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! <laughs> Hi everyone. I wonder what Alfie's up to. What are you doing, Alfie? It's not me. Yes, it is. I can see you. How do you know it's me? I can tell by your shape and the sound of your voice. What are you doing under that blanket? Oh dear, it didn't work, did it? What didn't work? I was trying to make myself invisible so that no one can see me. <laughs> I get it now. Nice try, Alfie. But you can't make yourself invisible. No one can. Really? Really. Though some creatures come very close to doing it. Wow, wow, whoa. I would love to meet them. Then let's do just that. And you can come along too. Off to the Creature Scope. These creatures must be pretty special if they can become almost invisible. Not so much invisible as just very hard to see, even if you look straight at them. Let's check them out. Can you see any creatures, Alfie? I can see a sort of lizard. That's the creature I was talking about. It's called a chameleon, and it's a kind of lizard. So how does a chameleon become nearly invisible? First, its colors are very similar to the trees and bushes it hides in. See how green the bushes are and how green the chameleon is? That makes it very tricky to see, right? Right, but here's the best bit, Alfie. Chameleons can change the colors of their skins. Wow! So they can be green when they're in amongst leaves, and then they can change to brown when they're down on the ground. So when its skin becomes the same color as the place where it's standing, you can be looking straight at a chameleon, but not even know it's there? Correct. And just look at its eyes. They're really big. Not only that, but their eyes can look in different directions at the same time. Wow, wow, wow. What do chameleons eat? Insects, like flies and crickets. They catch them with their long, sticky tongues. These chameleons are amazing creatures, all right, especially how they can change their colors. Why don't we have some fun changing one color to another? I'd love to do that. Great, let's take a trip in the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals adventures about. Today, we're going to be making a color-changing chameleon. I can't wait. We have red, dark green, yellow, light green, and blue paints. We also have spoons, paper fasteners, which we'll use to make the chameleon spin, mm -hmm. a round piece of paper with a hole in the center, another round piece of paper with a hole, and a chameleon-shaped cutout, and a salad spinner. Oh, a salad spinner? Are we making lunch for a chameleon? <laughs> no, Alfie. Usually we use a salad spinner for washing our salads, mm. but today we're going to use it for color mixing. Wild. Show us how, Allie. <laughs> First, we will take our salad spinner. Mm -hmm. We will open it up and put our round piece of paper inside. Mm. Next, we're going to take some scoops of our paint and add it inside. Cool. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to add the lid back on and then we'll spin. Mm. Do you want to do it? Sure. Go for it. This is fun. Yeah. Spin, 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 spin. Three, spin. two, one. Done. Wow. 
after it's dried, we can take it out. Wow. How does it look, Alfie? It looks amazing. We're gonna move this to the side and then grab our other round piece of paper with the chameleon shape cut out. Mm -hmm. We'll put it on top. Mm -hmm. We'll take our paper fasteners, put it through the center, and then on the back, we'll spread these two apart. See? Mm. And finally, when we spin the chameleon around, it'll change colors. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 amazing. That's a color-changing chameleon. And you can make a color-changing chameleon at home. Mm. It's a lot of fun. Insect. Where's the stick insect? Can you see? Can you see? It's thin and brown and hidden on the trees and branches. Hide and seek, hide and seek. Where's the stick insect? Where's the stick insect? Can you see? Can you see? Super long like needles. Can you spot them here now? Hide and seek, hide and seek. <laughs> Where's the chameleon? Where's the chameleon? Can you see? Can you see? Changing colors quickly, camouflaging quickly. Hide and seek, hide and seek. Where's the chameleon? Where's the chameleon? Can you see? Can you see? It has a really long tail. Can you find it for me? Hide and seek, hide and seek. Where's the meerkat? Where's the meerkat? Can you see? Can you see? It's hiding in the shadows. It's hiding there behind you. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Where's the meerkat? Where's the meerkat? Can you see? Can you see? Foraging for food now. Looking for some dinner. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek, hide and seek, hide and seek, hide and seek, hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Let's finish off with some nice, gentle moves. Mm. First, we're going to take the bottom of our foot and put it below our knee, and then we're going to raise up our meerkat paws and keep watch. Next, we're gonna get on all fours. And we're gonna raise one foot up to meet our hands. Mm -hmm. We're gonna straighten the other leg out and give a nice stretch like a chameleon. Ooh. And finally, we're gonna get onto our bellies and put our elbows and our hands flat on the ground and stay very still like a leaf insect. Are you moving, Alfie? Nope. <laughs> See, that was easy. Great job, everyone. I've had so much fun with you today, Yali. So did I, Alfie, and I hope you did too. See you next time on Wild Wild Wow! It's Wild Wild Wow!